Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Pat Trading Partners, along with Bob Iacchino, Nicola Corporation. By the way, we follow stocks that people are interested in. We're not married to any of them. We're not married to Nicola Corporation. We're not married to Tesla. We're not married to to any of these things. These are just trading vehicles, you know, so we're going to follow things that people are interested in. So if you're a fan of one and not the other, it doesn't matter. Follow the ones you want to follow. You know, it's not nothing about the companies. We're doing technical analysis, and I'm going to keep my own opinions about each company out of it unless it becomes part of necessary stuff to help people enjoy gains or avoid potentially avoid losses. So, one hour chart. Let me zoom in. Big gap down through the levels. When you see this kind of th stuff, it's generally bearish, but it came down to the 50 on the one hour chart, rallied back up to fill the gap. So what do we watch for? Again, talked about it. I think I've mentioned it today in the Tesla and in the uh, Virgin Galactic video. Tesla filled the gap. Virgin Galactic did not, but that's what you should watch for, especially if it starts rallying. So this opened Trade down a bit, but then rallied up, found the key support at the 50 on the one hour, filled the gap completely, which is what your target should be. Spiking through a little, but then closing again. Watch where it closes pretty much at the gap fill. Let me move this out of the way. We're going to need it later anyways for the next projections. Then drifted down for the remainder of the day. I'm going to go to the longer term chart now. So just remember, if you're just watching our videos for the first time because you're a fan of uh, Nikola Corporation or you're trading it or you've you got sucked into this vertical up move, which has now come pretty much down a lot. You see it opened within the four hour rotation zone, running up to the other side and now closing still within the rotation zone. Major level we're watching tomorrow is 60, just above 66, 66, 13. A close above there, then we're going to target the 75, 31 area. You can also do the shorter term GAN projections. If you want, if you're a more active day trader and want some shorter levels. Support now, I'm going to be watching to this day's open about 55 for support. If we do break below that, I'm watching the bottom of the rotation zone at 51. Then if we break below 51, we're watching about 48. I'm just going to split the difference between a GAN level of 62.5 and this projection down right around 48 right in here. So this is a little support zone. If we break below that, 44.13. If we break below that, 38.60. Remember, a lot of things that go vertically up can go vertically down. We don't know if that's going to happen. That's why I'm saying if it's breaking below today's first open and then today's low those are the levels i'm watching if it rallies 66.13 there's going to be some resistance right around 69 just because we are 69 to 70 because we have these two tails in there but the major level above that 75 and we still have an unfilled gap up here at least on the four hour and on the daily so you have now we're at the daily unfilled gap major support on the daily look is all the way what was the low of this bar low of this bar was 40 42 40 40 42 what's that about 40 40 40 so right around here on a continued a major sell-off again and it could still go vertical back down this is going to be a very key level because you get below that we still have an unfilled gap but that's major support bottom of the rotation zone that is key. I'd be watching just below 40, 45 for your major support. Why do we call it these levels? Well, I'm not trying to say where it's going because that's going to depend on people's time frame. Again, if you're a trader off a five-minute chart or a 15-minute chart, we generally trade off. We If it's very active, we go off the one hour. Then we go off the four hour. Then we go off the daily. So we are more of a swing trading type of firm. But if you're active, you might find setups on a five-minute chart. So if it gets down to a key level, and let's say you found, let's say it traded down to this uh, 4750 area, and then you just found a nice double bottom. Well, that's a level that if you're on a five-minute trader, you find a double bottom on a five- or ten-minute chart, you might want to take a long position. 
Whereas us on a longer term chart, we might be watching for a longer term setup before we enter. That's the way why we don't call out major things. Now, if I spot a major divergence, I will let everybody know because it could be a bottom or a top. You know, if we have a divergence top, I'm going to let people know. If we have a divergent bottom, I'm going to let people know it might be a buying or a selling opportunity, depending on what that is. If we have a double bottom, if we have a head and shoulders, an inverse head and shoulders, there's a bunch of patterns we watch. I'm going to list the longer term patterns, but I'm not going to tell anybody how to trade. I'm not going to be able to analyze everybody's time frames on their charts. And I'm not going to be able to tell you, oh, is it going up tomorrow? Well, I'm going to tell you if it gets above this price action we're or this price level, we're more bullish. If it gets below this, we're more bearish and we'll start watching for these levels. That's the best I can do because I am not you. If you want to be a trader or a day trader, I hate the term day trader, or more a, a more active trader, which you're taking on more risk. But you should also, what I'm trying to teach here, is look at the longer-term charts. Longer-term charts are more important than shorter-term charts. You find your levels on the longer-term charts, and then you list those out, and then if you're trading the shorter-term charts, you find price action at those levels or near those levels, and then you take action. Otherwise, you're just going to be getting in or out, in or out, and you know it's fine when everything's going up. But when things are choppy or things are going back down and you're long only, a lot of day traders are long only, uh, it, you, you can get chopped to pieces. So I'm giving you the levels we're watching. I'm hoping you're learning how to put these levels on your charts if you find them valuable or how to learn some of the stuff we're teaching here for free to try to help people not get hurt. Remember, always trade with stops. Trade with your targets. Don't get greedy. Don't get fearful, plan out your trade before, and then stick to it. That way you'll avoid major, major losses in blowing up your account, hopefully. We'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.